Game three of the Western Conference quarterfinals all tied at 1-1. If the first two games mean anything, we should be in for a heck of a series. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And the Clippers starting five. Under down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's George in at the three. And for the Thunder... Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Chris Paul is out there with Andre Robertson, and it's Cephalosia in at the small forward. <laughs> Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Outside, Williams. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Williams has got the game going with his first points of the game for the Clippers. Pass to Adams. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Harrell. On up the court. Here's Leonard. Kept alive. George with the bucket. It's a lengthy list of skill that Paul George brings to the table every night. The offensive glass is just one aspect of a terrific game. One on one fast break. Here's Leonard. Oh, the power on that prudent. Goodness. Wow. Well, Kawhi Leonard might be quiet off the court, but on the court, he makes a lot of noise. The shot by Paul. Nobody around. Carries it from three-point range. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Sepalosha against George. And it's Leonard top of the key. Six. Cephalosha with the steal. Inside, Paul. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Williams. Pass to Harold. And here's Leonard. Over Gallinari, and Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Harrell. Leonard's got his second bucket of the night. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Here's Adams. Back to Paul. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Adams, shot is good. This guy is used to drawing contact. Adams outworks and outhustles anyone in his way. Here's George. And Harris shoves it in. And, and although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Paul kicks to Adams. Alinari outside. Back to Adams. Alinari on the wing. Over Leonard. Again, the Thunder score. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. And the pass to Harold. Everly with the ball. Over Paul. And he 
overshot that one, missing. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And now the Clippers on the break, and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Well, speed, intelligence, touch. Kawhi Leonard has it all. Timeout, timeout is timeout. called. First of the game for the Thunder. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Noel checks in for Adams. Muscala comes in for Gallinari. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Robertson. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Chris Paul. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubac is checked in for Hill. Green comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Landry Shamit's checked in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. Now, here's Shamit after the miss from Dennis Schroeder. Zubats. Over Schroeder. And that one is good from Zubats. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Schroeder passes to Noel. 116 left in the first quarter. Back to Schroeder. Fires the three. It's held in by Zubats. Clippers leading by five. Livingston passes to Green, and Green slams it in. Well, it's the size that Livingston presents at the point guard spot that's so unique. This guy is terrific finding the open man. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's against Green. One-on-one -on -one fast break. The shot by George, wide open. Misses the wing jet. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by the Clippers. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Livingston pushes to George. Yeah, this is how athletic Paul George is. An absolute monster around the rim. Now Schroeder still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. deep and he was able to put it up in time but doesn't fall and that concludes the first quarter of play Clippers lead by nine and we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break Chris Ball talks about the matchups he faces at the point guard the toughest position in the NBA night in and night out is the point guard position you know, every night you look at the board, uh, the coach is pretty much going to say, their team goes as such and such goes. You know what I mean? So that's the toughest part, and that's probably the funnest part, too, because uh, it's competition. And CP3, one of the most competitive players in the game. It's an obsession with him, and you can see how hard he gets after it every time he takes the court. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for the Clippers right now, Shannon George at the two and the three. Green is out there with Ivica Zubas. And it's Livingston in at the point guard position. Here's Cephalosha. Paul George making his last shot. Schroeder outside, and he hits the jump shot. Schroeder's got four this quarter. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky stars. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here.
for Oklahoma City. Adams, he's checked in for Muscala. Alinari comes in for Cephalosha. And it's Robertson in for Dennis Schroeder. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Kawhi Leonard comes in for George. Lou Williams is checked in for Landry Shamit. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Sean Livingston. Good on the three-point shot. Leonard's got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. Well, Kawhi Leonard put in the time to become a big-time threat from range. That is beautiful. Gallinari surveying the D. And Adams kicks to Gallinari. Shoots over Leonard. And it's Gallinari missing. Clippers leading by 10. Leonard the pass to Williams. That shot is off. Adams, some nice D. Here's Gallinari. Great tee that time from Green. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Now oh, here's Leonard. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Noel in the corner. No good that time. The Clippers go the other way with it. They won their last game Monday night. And you know what? It, sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. All night, a display of physical and mental toughness. Swarming at every basketball. They suffocated that offense. Now, here's Robertson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. And the rejection by Noel. We've got 148 left to play in the first half. Alinari outside. He's looking for Noel and finds him. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Gallinari, and it's Leonard missing. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. That's to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Robertson. Over Williams, Adams. And it's Adams on the follow. Boy, the strength and the activity of Steven Adams makes him a force on the backboards. And the Clippers call time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Muscala is checked in for Nerlens Noel. Cephalosha comes in for Gallinari. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Robertson. And Paul subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubac is checked in for Montrez Harris. Paul George comes in for Jermichael Green. Landry Shamit's checked in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. Now Cephalosha. Paul George missing from long range. Stolen by George. Pass to Livingston. For the finish, rips down the breakaway slam. Now, Kevin, terrific activity from Paul George. Sticks his long arms in and mucks up the passing lanes. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Yep, that one goes in there. Schroeder's got six in the quarter. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. Leonard against Cephalosha. Here's Leonard. 
From deep three-point range, the long-distance three is buried. Leonard's got a pair of triples in the second half for the Clippers. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Clippers ahead as they wrap up the second quarter on a 14-6 run. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. New Orleans, you guys had a tough time stopping their offense in the first half. What do you have to do differently? You know, we got to protect the paint. They're getting way too many easy baskets. You know, that's us communication on front of the post and, you know, just communicating a lot more. We'll see if those changes stick. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here, got Kenny the Jet. Checking out the Clippers. They are jumping at the opportunity to go up two games to one. If they continue on the same path they were on in the first half, that will put them in firm control of this series. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? Who does a better job of playing to his strengths than Kawhi Leonard? knows exactly where to get his shots from within the flow of the offense. One of the most reliable performers in this league. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. As our round one coverage continues. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. You get the sense when there's big time performances to be had, this guy wants to take part. You expect that this is a trend that will continue here. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Gallinari and Adams, the combo out front. Robertson is out there with Chris Paul. And it's Cephalosha in at the three, the small forward. That's Billy Donovan's five as we get going here in the second half. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Here's Robertson. Paul George making his last shot. The pass to Paul. Leonard against Gallinari. Just five to shoot. The second chance effort. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And the rebound and the foul show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. The Thunder shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. That free throw good from Gallinari. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Williams dishes to Leonard. Passes it to Harrell. Outside Williams. Shot clock at six. Gets rebounded by Robertson. Robertson's got four rebounds in this game. Adams takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Well, Steven Adams is improving on the offensive end. And given his size and strength, he's effective from inside. And the Clippers call time here. Right around 
minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Outside Williams. He kicks it to Beverly. Outside Leonard. George against Cephalosha. Here's Williams. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got three assists in the game. Fires from 14, and Adams with the slam. Yo, know, he's been giving them points, but they still can't seem to get over the hump tonight. Bounce pass from Beverly. Harold against Adams. Harold down low. Beverly finds Harold. And it's the Clippers scoring again. That's their third straight make off an assist. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Alexander subbed in for Tabo Cephalosha. And the Clippers with the change here, too. Green's checked in. Now here's Paul. Five points in the game. Here's Beverly. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. Under trailing by 14. Alinari on the wing. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And that's now seven points for Gallinari. Williams looking over the floor. Here's George. Plays it up and banks it in. We are talking about a proficient, efficient scorer in Paul George. Go to work, sir. Pass to Noel. Williams against Paul. Back to Noel. Paul right side over Williams. That shot off. And the Clippers will come the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. And it goes down two points. Williams yes. has got six. And Beverly, not a volume playmaker, but he always makes smart decisions with the basketball. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The shot is good off the backboard. You know, being that wide open sometimes leads to a miss, but that fadeaway was money. And the Clippers call time here. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. He's checked in for Andre Robertson. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Paul. The Clippers also making some changes. Zubac is checked in for Montrez Hill. Andre Shamit comes in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. The Clippers shooting their first free throw tonight. when he was selected 10th overall back in 2010 that the casual fan understood that Paul George would become one of the most effective two-way players in the NBA but he's done just that now here's Schroeder he has six off the left rim and up there's 126 left in the third quarter of the game and here's George for three 
And again, Los Angeles with the triple. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Schroeder outside. But Dennis Schroeder over the years, boy, as he started to harness all that energy and talent. The Thunder have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. You know, I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient. Let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor. Schroeder hits them both. 103 left here in the third quarter. Livingston kicks to Zubats. He dishes it to George. It's rebounded by Schroeder. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. It's an 18-point game. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. And it's Shamit missing. George against Gallinari. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Picks it out to Schroeder. Pass to Noel. Six on the shot clock. Here's Gallinari. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth, Shamit Leonard are on the wings. Ivica Zubac is out there with Jermichael Green, and it's George in at the point. Now here's Leonard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Dennis Schroeder. One of the key aspects for Kawhi Leonard scoring per game is his ability to get to the free throw line. This guy lives there. Two shots. And he makes the first. How about Kawhi Leonard? How many guys in the history of their career can say, I was an NBA Finals MVP at 22 and then an NBA Finals MVP at 27? Simply incredible. And the Thunder making a switch here. Gallinari's checked in. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Thunder trailing by 20. Schroeder outside. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Adams, the pass to going up. It's not going to go for him. Clippers leading by 20. And George kicks to Beverly. Better that's for two. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Beverly. Beverly's got his first points in this one. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Schroeder against Beverly. 
takes the three. And it's Schroeder missing. L.A. has gone three or four from long range in the game. Down low, here's George. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. comes in for Dennis Schroeder. And then for the Clippers, Harrell comes in for Ivica Zubas. Lou Williams is up in for Landry Shannon. Here's Paul. Second shot opportunity. Not going to go that time. E.T. that time from Leonard. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Now here's Beverly. The dish to Leonard. And he uses the glass on the layup. Leonard's got four points this quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Trying to end the drought, and he gets it to go. And that's now seven points for Chris Paul. Yeah, he's like a magician out there. Paul shows you only what he wants you to see. Then he hits you with the reveal. Leonard. Some solid defense from Gallinari. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big time asset defensively. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Well, guys, Kawhi may not have averaged 20 points per game until his fifth season, but now it happens with regularity. Robertson the pass to Cephalosha. Here's the three. Rebound by the Clippers. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Outside Leonard. Bangs home the trifecta. Leonard's got 23. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Robertson kicks to Cephalosha. And there's the pass to Paul. The Thunder with another miss. And here are the Clippers. They've got a 13-2 run goal. Adams against Terrell. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Leonard with the steal. Beverly against Paul. They get a hand on it and stolen by Cephalosha. Unloads from 13. The Thunder with another miss. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Here's Williams. It's good. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the Clippers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Leonard. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Five to shoot. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork, GA. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now here is Cephalosha. To halt the run. The Thunder with another miss. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. 
Beverly dishes to Leonard. The kick out to Williams. Passes it to Beverly. So the Clippers winning this one easily. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of the series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Paul, obviously your team is built on defense. It seems like that's a big part of this team's identity. Uh, I mean, we, we we take pride in our defense. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we hang our hats on is, uh, you know, locking down when it counts. And uh, we stayed together and pulled this one up. Great team effort tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.